Am I audible? Yes, Vizan. Okay, thank you. This is only what you have to ask. I was I was not getting any voice, so I thought that is there any issue with my system? So for the confirmation only. Uh, okay. Just let the time get complete. Everybody will be there. Just you can see that my mics for all the mics are on mute. Okay, just hold on. So, we'll be starting. If you will allow me, if you will give the permission. So, just I have one doubt, sir. So, can I yeah, ask please. you if you will allow? Yeah, me? yeah, please. Okay. So, just uh, first of all, was no, uh, that ILO standard in assignment. I saw that. So, just I have some doubts, or we can say that uh, I want some clarification on that. Is it possible, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah, please go ahead. So just uh, in the third assignment that the first question is what are the two main standard that ILO has produced for the health and safety what do the country countries do with this standard okay who will answer Who will answer? This is the question, right? What are the two main standards that ILO has produced for health and safety? What do country do with these standards? Who will answer? Anyone? C-155 and R-164. Right, C1. We have discussed only two standards till now. Right or wrong? How many standards we have discussed from ILO? Only two. One is C155, one is R164. The one is convention, one is recommendation. Right, wrong? Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. So these so are just, the, uh, the answer will be the. Do you want me to do you want me to write your answer now? No, no, not right. Just I have some confusion. So answer, yeah, yeah. So answer, try to answer in your own words. If there would be something wrong, I will correct that. But before you answer, if I will be start giving you halwa, that is not good. Okay, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, guys, it's 8.46. I think we should be starting now. Uh, the other participants will be joining us. And of course, everyone can have the recorded session. And I respect for all those participants who joined on time. So not to waste their time, I would be continue. Uh, yes. Okay. So... Now we are going to discuss our module or the part three of the module first or chapter one, module three, whatever you, however you classify. This is who does what in an organization? Starting from managing director, then directors, 
then managers or you can say line managers coordinator supervisors every organization is having their own chart once or whenever you are going to get the contract from your client usually they are also asking you to show us your internal organization chart why do they need to know this because they need to know who is the one resource provider or i will leave this question and once we will be discussing the slide it would be clear for you someone is calling me unknown number mostly from the student no one is there in the waiting okay fine so now let us move uh, sorry to say still i have not received your number sir uh, in the chat i cannot i uh, okay over here this is my number now happy yes thank you so much sir okay uh, now guys uh, let us move uh, further okay and over here we are going to discuss that who will do what in the organization so the first thing is the employer who is the employer the employer is basically a person or an organization that employs people your company who hires you is the employer okay the employer in this in this context over here is normally an organization either it is a one man but we consider it as one organization one company such as company and it sometimes referred to as the corporate body or sometimes board of directors are there okay they are basically legal persons who are going to be asked in case if some kind of legal matter occurs okay they are responsible person next is responsibility of the employer is they are responsible for ensuring that workplace is safe and free of health risk rest with the employer employers are responsible for providing a workplace which is healthy or which is safe and healthful okay now as we noted earlier this responsibility is made clear in ilo convention c155 ilo recommendation r164 in both of these recommendations and conventions as well we have discussed that what is the first responsibility of any organization the first responsibility of any organization the first responsibility of any employer is to make sure the area the workplace is safe and free from all kind of health issues just a minute guys hold on please sorry guys for the interruption now next is uh, regarding the employer the employee the employer carries ultimate responsibility for ensuring that workplace is safe and free of health and safety risk finally whatever you consider that employer is the ultimate responsible okay and uh, over here some points i would like to mention that in some scenario people often believe that employer is the chief executive officer or ceo okay over here employer is basically the company the corporate body ensures the uh, in, uh, yes employer is the one who ensures that the safety of the workers and others for example if visitors are coming to us we have to make sure about their safety if contractors are coming to my area to perform their job for example for the meeting i have to make sure about their safety even employers are also responsible to make sure the safety of the passers by for example if your organization is performing its job in an area where we are having uh, 
people are already living over there for example you are constructing a building in 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 the community then you are also responsible to making sure that the other people for example the kids even those who are playing around you they should be they should be protected next is uh over here on on your book you guys would be having the book let me open your book and let me show you the chart chart which has to be referred on your book page number 1-13 you will be having this kind of chart right my camera is visible for everyone yeah this chart page 1-13 yes yes vijay uh, so uh, this book means uh, uh, you have sent it on the email that is the one you says uh, book means the one we have sent it uh, i guess on the email we also have sent it and uh, on the in the whatsapp group in the whatsapp group we also have sent it sorry vijay i put you on mute mistakenly uh, i had to lower your hand yes uh, fias adil yes please sir i uh, please resend the book material That's we it. will resend don't worry someone who is already having yeah, the book yeah, please hello, uh, yeah see i haven't added till now in the group so and uh, we have uh, see, i haven't got this uh, book set uh, uh, see i did not go through the mail which attachment anal because of my busy work schedule no somehow. worries no worries uh, you will be you will be having uh, the books everything you will be having okay in case if someone has not received yet we will be updating we will be uploading it again thank you sir thank you very much and even okay. even whatsapp group immediately sir otherwise i will be I we will be adding you Okay. i guess your your number you mentioned your number right yeah yeah i already shared your number in the initial stages of well yeah in, in, no worries if so, um, uh, yeah if i have added i have uh, mentioned my number over here in uh -huh. case if you don't get add in the whatsapp group you can send me personal message then i will be adding you i'll thank be asking you. my management to add you okay thank you no worries. thank you no worries no worries okay uh now uh there is one new participant with the name iphone 2 who is he as as i clearly mentioned please mention your name one or whenever you are going to join us okay fine uh, now regarding uh, directors and uh, senior management these are those guys who basically give an organization its direction they are directors they have to give direction they are the one who set uh, the policy targets then they are the one who need to uh, do everything I, by the way they are setting its priorities okay they are the one who are allocating the resources and appoint competent person by the way who are the competent person health and safety as per our course health and safety officers coordinators supervisors managers these are the competent persons these are their job to hire us okay and they are the one who are allocating the responsibilities to all those who are working under them they are responsible for ensuring that all of the legal requirements are met because we just have discussed it over here that these are the legal persons okay so means in case legally if we have to consult with someone in the organization directors would be consulted it means that they are the one who are the resource allocators they are the one who are the resource providers okay now remember guys directors and senior managers they can have enormous influence over their organization and its priorities of course they are the one who are having huge influence on whatever the policy planning you guys are making usually on your notice boards you would be having one page stick over there with the signature of your ceo or your uh, country manager or country head or area manager whatever you call it 
means top management is signing the policy and usually that policy once signed by the top management becomes the law of your organization internally and everyone will be following no one will go no one can go by the way against that law they are mentioning this is our target we want zero injury how we will be achieving we will do everything whatever we can right in on one page they are mentioning it now the way they are perceived by those lower in the management uh, hierarchy is very important i have to of course everyone is having his idea about his management okay i would be having i was having wherever i was working i was having clear idea about my management i was having clear perception about my management that regarding health and safety what is their mind and my management my senior management they must demonstrate clear commitment and leadership with regard to health and safety guys over here very important thing commitment and leadership should not only be shown only in the meetings and emails it should be practically shown or practically visible in the field whenever they are coming on the job site it should be visible with their acts if the manage, management is coming on the job site without having the pp what i will be thinking about that what would be my action next time once i would be choosing the pp to use on the job site right this uh, by the way we are we will be having in ig2 will be having a proper discussion regarding this and i in ig1 in the later chapter we'll also be having some discussion regarding this about the visibility the proper visibility of the management in the field next is uh, by the way what we have discussed it's all about senior management or it's all about top management top management which is responsible for setting policy which is responsible for performing everything whatever resource resources are required whatever we sorry guys whatever resources are um, required over there okay whatever uh, in case in in terms of resources if we need some kind of equipment people some kind of planning some kind of organization of the people okay they are the one who has to in case if they have to deal in uh, in case if we have to go with the with some kind of uh, legal requirements to be met these are the guys the board of director the top management is the one who will be taking care about these legal issues next is middle managers and supervisors middle managers and supervisors are involved in day to day operational running of the organization so are responsible for health and safety standards within the operation under their control whatever will come under my control i am the one uh, i am only responsible for those for those issues for those areas unsafe facts unsafe conditions whatever and usually manager supervisors these you guys are those who are doing this who are performing these jobs whenever something happens on the job site you will be called you will be asked you are the one who is responsible next is uh, in case if we are going to have some kind of shared responsibility of joint occupier of the premises different contractors are there they are going to join on one uh, they are going to join one organization they are going to have their interfaces okay how we are going to manage them we are going to discuss now what about the contractor management as a client we will be discussing it now as per ilo convention c155 article 17 and ilo recommendation r164 recommendation 11 what are these in case if employers are in the shared facility okay they should be communicated to develop appropriate health and safety standards and appropriate policies and procedures do you have shared shared areas with other contractors any of you like your organization is organization a okay and there is organization b who is coming they are having their own job scope by the way but because you are working for one client so you might have to share the facility do you have this issue or do you have any kind of this uh, this kind of contractor working with you 
Yes, yes, Mr. Rahman. Uh, we have uh, uh, the uh, see. Uh, I am running a, a security uh, business. Uh, same time in a, see in, in a building where some some kind of building there is a facility management, there is a cleaning management. Different different management would be there. Right. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. Very uh, nice. I, thank you. Very nice. So we are having means we are having different contractors working in one area in one building under one client. Right. So this is the recommendation. This is the convention of ILO, as it is mentioned on, in your screen, that you should be having appropriate standards, policies, and procedures to work together for that purpose. They are making, or you guys are making, what kind of policies or procedure, as it is mentioned, for example, sharing of procedure could be include fire and emergency response. If fire comes in my area, Okay, or in my premises, ultimately, because my premises are shared with you. Right, I, we are working in the same area because of my, uh, like I am performing some kind of electrical job. Okay, and uh, electrical wiring can cause some kind of fire short circuit could be there. On the other side, there is one area uh, in which uh, one contractor is performing some kind of welding, cutting, grinding operation. There is one uh, contractor who is performing some kind of civil and one contractor who is performing some kind of carpentry job. Okay, so all these jobs are being done in the same premises. What about the fire? If fire starts over there, how we are going to react on that? How I am going to announce the fire? Who will be performing the head count? Who will be going for the firefighting? What about the fire containment? How we are going to contain the fire? What about the emergency response? Immediately, we will be moving to assembly area A, B, C, D. Usually, if the contractors are working together, every contractor is having its own assembly area, assembly point, where they are conducting their TBT usually in the morning time. So what, what we will be doing at that time? What about the work permit system? How we are going to perform the jobs over there? Who will be issuing the permit? In case if my job is critical, I don't have time, before the evening, I have to get finished with my work. What about the guys who are working? For example, in case if someone is lifting some uh, some kind of load, okay, the other guys are performing their job over there. For example, they are performing the welding operation. So my boom, boom of my crane is going to move over there up on these guys. So there, there is an interface, right? How we are going to manage about that? Then sharing of the risk assessment, do we have common risk assessment or based on the job nature, we will be having different risk assessments, right? Activity to activity, risk assessments get changed. Time to time, weather to weather, risk assessments sometimes get changed. Then in that, then in that scenario, what we are going to do, then joint management committee meetings. Mr. Omar is the one who is attending so many meetings nowadays yes right yes, from correct. here from here from here from here all all time most of the time uh, managers like mr umar they don't have time to perform their own job actually they are they stay busy in the meetings okay so what about these who will be performing the joint joint management we have to define some kind of proper procedure, appropriate policies. Okay, this is uh, the requirement of your I ILO convention, uh, C-155, Article 17, and recommendation number 11. Okay, so now moving further, consider yourself, you are the client. If, by the way, if we give, if we move to the previous slide, and if we give this authority to all the contractors to perform their job, by themselves and to define their own policies and procedures, there would be a big mess up. That is why clients, they are having one system, usually the work permit system. They are asking all the contractors to follow this. One interface permit would be there. They are asking everyone to follow this. Okay, that would be easier. And in case, if you are the one who is working as a client, and of course, if you are uh, you as a client can be held responsible for an injury caused by a contractor working for the client, 
then it must be in the client's own best interest to ensure that contractors do not endanger workers or others if i am the client of course i would not allow you to do the job individually or by yourself some identical procedures needs to be defined identical rules has to be defined and everyone will be following those rules because those would would be identical then it would be easy to follow and no one will be having any uh, suggestion any com complain or any comments on that because everyone is following that okay and by the way if i as a client i do that then it is for my safety because i am responsible i have to manage you and by the way in case if i have to manage you and if i have to go with the shared duties in that scenario you know how the client usually are managing you how the client usually are uh, selecting the contractors they are there are different i mean the contractor management by the way is having three steps what are those three steps let us discuss the way that a client manages contractor can be broken down into three key areas first to whom we are going to select selection of the contractors how client select the contractor this is before we are going to give them our contract then planning and coordination of the work how we are going to manage what about the planning what about the coordination among guys among different contractors then the next is monitoring and managing the work then client sits back they are just monitoring you coming you on the job site giving you some tough time okay so that you should be following health and safety rules and then they would be managing the work in this way all right so what are these three let us start discussing all these one by one guys you as a contractor once you have to get once you have to yeah get the contract from your client for example you are going to bid somewhere in the in the ramco for any kind of civil mechanical electrical or it's a combined uh, contract whatever then aramco will be asking you or the client will be asking you to provide them some specific series of documents or a set of documents usually good organizations they are already having their own internal procedures whenever they are going to submit sub bidding for the new for the new contract what they are doing they are just getting the job scope they are taking their own internal procedures job scope client manual merge them and submit the documents what are those documents those documents are health and safety policy okay risk assessment qualification and training records okay we are submitting by the way all these qualification and training record members membership of professional organization for example as a manager i am i uh, uh, registered as a cmio or i mean whatever it, as an individual their qualification training record and then about your as iso qualification about their other contracts about man, maintenance and equipment testing then uh, previous or current clients who are our previous client who are our current client because if i will see that you guys are working with good organization already you have worked over there so it would be easier for me to decide yes these are the experienced guys and we should be giving them we should be uh, selecting them as our contractor as a client they are also asking us to provide them the accident records then they are also asking us how you are going to get the uh, how what are your enforcement actions that in case if someone is going to that in case if someone is going to uh, do some kind of violation what action you will be taking because if the enforcement action is strong then of course people they will be following or the workers they will be following health and safety rules okay that basically defines the culture of my, my organization then adequate resources what are the resources uh, as a contractor i will be having so that to implement the health and safety rules my question to all of you guys who are working in the contractors don't you provide all these documents to your to your clients 
Yes, you are giving. Yeah, we are providing. Yes, Pizan. Yes, uh, the, the documents which is mentioned here, uh, although we are providing all the documents. We are providing all, some, yeah. yeah, some more documents would also be there, which are, of course, not listed over here. Okay, which maybe there would be some kind of change in the name of the document, but we are providing all these general documents usually when, whenever we are getting the contract. Okay, so in this way, when as a client, I will see all of these documents are as per my requirement, I would be getting the match, then only I would be feeling, yes, I have to go with this contractor. He's strong one in this health and safety. Yes, he would be giving me my required product on time because if he would be performing the job with proper health and safety rules and regulation, his culture is strong. It means that he would not be having accident or incident. We would not be having any lost time and I would be getting my product on time. Halas, go with them. First thing. Now, second one, planning and coordination of the work what we will be doing we will be performing some kind of we will be making some kind of plans okay safe system of work and then we will be coordinating with each other to perform the job now over here as it is mentioned information to be shared between client and the contractor hazard posed by the site and worker work carried out hazard posed by the contractor's activity what are the site hazard what are the activity hazards what are our risk assessment? What are our method statements? We have to get them approved from our client. Even the JSA you are making, you are getting it approved from your client. Okay, so all these things you are getting them approved from your client. This is what we call how you are going to plan. This is how you are planning and how you are coordinating your work and how you are going to perform your job, usually in the method statements and risk assessment, which is what we call JSAs. Next is planning and coordination of the, sorry, the same one, arrangement between the client and the contractor, ensuring activities do not get conflict for that purpose. We are ensuring that if the interface permits are being issued, okay, sometimes you have to get the counter signature from the other client. Yes, Mr. Vijay. Uh, you said JSS, so what is that, sir? Uh, JSA, Job Safety Analysis. Sometimes you would also be hearing the word JHA, job hazard analysis. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, both are same. We will have a detailed discussion regarding JSA, JHA. Okay, thank you, sir. In, in the later slides, huh? in the later chapter, sorry. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, so over here, activities should not be getting conflict. As I mentioned that, my activity is to lift the load and the other persons are welding over there below. So, of course, there is a conflict. Okay, then, yes, Abdul Qadir. Yes, sir, there is a one JSI. What is the JSI? Can you leave these questions for chapter three or four? Okay, sir. Job safety, JSI, I will check that. Okay, I, I don't know what is JSI. Maybe this is different one. JSA is job safety analysis, JHA is job hazard analysis. If someone is using JSI, I don't know. I will check that, I'll let you know. But okay. these questions, if you would be asking me these questions later on, then I will be uh, feel more comfortable while answering these. Okay. okay. Next is a permit to work system to control the activities, that how we are going to control the activities, how we are going to maintain the record, maintaining the record, tracking the record is very important permit to work system, make sure that all of your activities are as per the safety requirements, because whenever you are getting the permit issued, you are getting agreed that based on these conditions, I would be performing my job. The, according to these rules and regulations, I would be performing my job. If fire watcher is mentioned there, I must be having fire watch on the job site. If a small, like, let's say, if water bottles are mentioned over there, I must be having water bottles over there. It means these are the legal documents. And by the way, based on the work permit, we cannot sometimes do the job until unless we don't have some attachments on the backside of the permit. Those are basically the safe work procedure or safe system of work. These are the documents which usually we are attaching 
as attachment for example some kind of inspections uh, pre job inspection or some kind of uh, you can say a work at height procedures or confined space entry procedure i mean the safe system of work we would be attaching that and in this way we as a contractor will be performing the job next this is the time for the client that they are going to monitor us client uh, must make sure that they are going to monitor the work to ensure that whatever the rules they have made these are going to be implemented or whatever we had agreed already it should be implemented on the job site okay then uh, the client can stop the work if it involves unsafe practices okay they, it depends sometimes client stops sometimes they are asking you to mention it in your safe system of work to give uh, that everyone or anyone can stop the unsafe act or unsafe condition okay for that purpose we are having the stop work authority from our management side okay then after that client is the one who would be performing the aud auditing okay once they are monitoring after monitoring just to check just to uh, have a clear idea or just to check the effectiveness of the whole system they are basically auditing us against agreed mentioned documents or whatever the rules and regulation on which we agreed so regarding the audit over here it is mentioned only about the method statement guys remember regarding the audit it just does not do only one single it does not identify one single activity okay or one single area audit basically is a systematic critical examination of whole system step by step whole system regarding the audit that would be the last topic i guess of our ig ig1 so we will be having a discussion regarding the audit later on in detail that what are the three stages of the audit how do we perform the audit and as an auditor if you want to uh, act as an auditor or if you want to become uh, an auditor what do you need to keep in your mind i will be explaining you all later on regarding the jsi what i came in a joint site inspection this is something different as compared to the jha or jsa someone has asked the question i guess so over here guys there is there are some questions okay and uh, questions are uh, to whom does an employer owe a duty with regard to health and safety how can director influence health and safety what are the key worker responsibility what work uh, what would you look for for check when selecting a contractor by the way all the question uh, everything we have discussed i should be giving you this assignment regarding this assignment remember whenever an incident occurs on the job site or in case during your exam if the question comes regarding any kind of incident okay keep these four questions in your mind okay that is why i am not going to solve these questions because you i want you guys to read your book and answer the questions assignment 3 was the last assignment but now i am i just start uh, i just had i mean had a thought that i should be giving you this one as an assignment so it would be your assignment 4 i would be mentioning it over here whenever any incident happens on the job site just think about these four questions okay you will be having the root cause of that uh, almost accident investigation would be completed by the way we'll be discussing about the accident investigation as well in our ig1 so assignment 4 let me mention it over here then guys any question a uh, quick question uh, can we have yes. a, a digital copy of the box uh, in the exam we will like when, uh, when you're pushing, like can i bring my laptop or uh, not laptop uh, i buy a tablet something in the in the exam 
the exam is basically open book exam you are allowed to search on the internet you are allowed to use your book or whatever as we have mentioned the resources you are allowed to check anywhere remember you will only be able to search on the internet or in the book if you are having clear idea about the question and the scenario okay yeah, yeah, sure. otherwise otherwise you you would start searching uh, i mean just understand the uh, intensity you are start searching in right direction suddenly or time to time you would be leaded towards left side correct okay so in that way uh, remember that uh, only if you would have studied the book properly then you would be able to search nowadays we know ramesh i'll come to you nowadays we know that uh, most of the guys who are attempting ig1 why they are getting failed why they are unable unable to pass because they think we have to memorize memorization is something different you have to have a clear concept or idea about the uh, scenario as well as how i am going to link the scenario with the book okay yes ramesh in the third question in the first assignment same work or responsibility can we talk for the same or the if if there is some kind of duplication that is good for you just copy paste khalas okay azan uh, uh, sorry i guess i just uh, uh, who will speak uh, okay for fezan you go first then i will come to mr umar then mr vijay okay so just uh, i think uh, i missed to took the images for of the assignment 1 okay those will be shared again in the in the group okay 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 yes uh, mr omar yeah uh, if i bring because i i made other exams in the open book that that time they only allowing a hard copy of their book only uh, so that's why i'm saying if i have digital copy of the ig yeah. i put it in ipad and enter exam is it okay or no or i have to print no, out no no worries book? see exam will be given to you online you have yeah. to download it and you have to solve it by sitting in your room okay. so you will be having open access to everywhere okay right so you don't have any kind of uh, uh, you know what shall i say some kind of limitations it is up to you whatever the source you are choosing but that should be as per study and as per scenario okay okay uh, now mr vijay sir uh, i want you assigned us some assignment 1 2 3 like 4 uh, see i am not remembering what is 1 and 2 so if it is slide if you uh, giving me assignment like 1 2 3 i can i can just uh, uh, note it down see what we will do uh, you are added in the whatsapp group or no let me check sir not yet okay uh, let me ask uh, our management to add you okay once you will be added over there i will ask mr abdullah to share all the assignments once again yeah because uh, i can do i can complete assignment and send it to you back because only when i am i won't be remembering that what are the question your assignment you given there no worries you will be and by the way even if you miss something over here yeah. once i will be sharing the recorded lecture recorded session then you will be having all things clear to you Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Muhammad Ishfaq. Uh, sorry, Abdullah. He raised his hand already. I'll come to okay. you. Okay. Hi, sir. So you heard my voice? Yeah. So my question is, I am like third time is uh, attending these classes for registration. Okay. I I do I did third time class registration. I don't know why I am always like uh, three time. i will fail in igi2 my igi1 class is uh, exam is clear but yeah, igi1 IG class is yeah igi1 class uh, is clear so you don't have yes. to attend this session by the way for yeah. igi1 for the first 5 days but if you want to attend that that would be good for you because of course yeah. once we are making the report in igi2 then these these sessions are helpful 
Mm. Okay, but yeah, uh, on the other side, what I understood, what I understood, you want me to have a look on your assignment. Uh, in mm -hmm. in case if I'll be finding time, I will be guide, guiding you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. And uh, by you. the way, in our sessions, usually in our session at the end of our uh, complete session, I mean, we uh, yeah. we are having one class. That class is basically just to uh, discuss how we are going to solve the exam. Okay. Okay. No problem, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Abdullah, you were saying something. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I did not take the screenshot of the assignment number three, sir. I was relying on you. No, actually, I was not <laughs> not here. Okay. So who? Who? Start, no problem. That was minute. the prayer time. I understand. Okay. Someone who has taken the screenshot, please share the slide. Uh, please share the assignment three. Okay. So that Abdullah can copy. Abdullah, you are in the WhatsApp group, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the WhatsApp. Yeah, problem. so uh, please reshare it so Abdullah can have it. Abdullah will be having all the assignments from today mm -hmm. to onward. And uh, in case if we need to uh, get it back again, I mean, he would be the one who would be resharing it. Abdullah, I guess I received a message. Someone would have shared it. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, Nawaz, uh, you are on the mic. Yes, sir. Yes, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Recently, I also giving new size exam in the month of february but uh -huh. uh, i am referring ig1 and ig2 okay okay no problem sir, we will have the session okay yes please yes sir and, and the my learner partner is uh, from uh, india lucknow uh, uh see regarding that uh, i cannot do anything Okay, if you would have registered over there, of course, you are in this session because you would have been registered with us. Okay, so of course, uh, you will, don't worry about that. Just just have uh, proper coordination with your, uh, with your coordinator who, who got you registered earlier. Yes, sir, yes, I know. Sir, okay. I want to tell you, sir, uh, I think the class is too, uh, too lengthy, sir, because Sir, in the, the class in India, is too lengthy. Yes, sir. Because uh, in my previous class, the uh, tutor taking just a three-hour class. See, uh, I can finish the class in two hours maximum. All the classes. Okay. Yes, sir. That is not. Uh, see, I did because, not. Because, I because, because uh, uh, even. Okay, okay. That is that is not a big deal for me. Okay, I have never done any job other than the training. Yes, okay, yes, and since twelve to since twelve years, I am conducting health and safety trainings, and before that, I was already a teacher. So regarding conduct regarding just to finish the class, I don't have any issue. I will do like this. Okay, within two hours, I can do that. Would be easy for me. But actually, what I want, I want, if I am explaining something, the person or the people who are listening to me, they should be able to understand me. And in case if they want to ask, that is why I am giving them proper training, uh, proper time, even yeah. if they want to ask me the question. Okay, it's not about, as I already mentioned, it's not about the time, it's about the course contents. Okay, if all of you are not happy with me, I mean, uh, with the class length, tell me. No, 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 sir. We, sir, I, I'm just no, telling sir. you it just is good, because sir. I am I am from India, and uh, in India the time is right now uh, 12 a.m. And uh, as per your schedule, the class class is uh, running one more hour. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. I have, I have no yeah. problem, yeah. sir. But uh, just uh, just sir. Uh, uh, time time problem sir because in night uh, i am telling you oh. now now you you are not facing what the other participants faced in ramadan <laughs> yes sir, okay. yes, sir they know. were attending the class till the suhoor i yeah, mean yeah, till 4 yeah. am because at on on that days on those days we were starting our session 9 30 as per ksa time up to one o'clock midnight <laughs> one yeah, one thirty, sometimes two. So you are attending very easy classes. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. 
okay guys uh, now here is the summary what we have discussed today we had discussed about uh, the main i will be just going with the main we had discussed about the basic definition health safety welfare and also environment i explained then we discussed about uh, moral legal and uh, financial reasons for managing health and safety then we discussed two standards one was uh, two standards from ilo okay convention c155 r164 we discussed in uh, where we discussed about the employer's responsibilities as well as the worker's responsibility after that uh, we had discussed about a brief idea about the iso system okay iso health and safety management system there were different systems listed over there and after that we had discussed about uh, what did we discuss later on yeah consequences of non compliance with health and safety rules and regulation okay and then after that we discussed about uh, your contractor management okay that starting from the selection of contractor then planning and implementation and then monitoring them we had discussed if you are having any question you are more than welcome to ask otherwise we will be ending up today from tomorrow we will be starting our uh, next topic and that would be the module 2 IG2 and we'll be starting it. Remember, guys, today was the first day. There were so many relaxations regarding the time. Tomorrow, if you come on time, we will leave on time. If you don't come on time, of course, it would be getting late. So please be on time. Sharp 5:30 as per KSA time. I would keep waiting for you guys. And that's all from my side. And uh, Hope so. It would have been a nice class with you. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, sir. Yes, sir. But at uh, the end, it was a nice. And we will nice class. You to... It Someone was nice is speaking class. something. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It was a very nice class, and it is, uh, it is uh, far better and far ex good explanation what I expected. On the word. better than what I expected. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir, for the explanation. And sir, just one thing, just so we have not added in WhatsApp group, sir. So request you to please look into this. We will add. Yes, uh, okay. Nawaz. Sir, can you show me? Sir, where are you from, sir? From India? I'm Pakistan. from Pakistan, yeah. Islamabad. <laughs> yes, uh, sir, in the but month sir, of no, just as we, we have guessed, no, that we, we I am thinking that you are from India me from india who wants to leave by the way he can leave session has been ended uh, yes now ask me the question sir i want to compliment you because uh, sir um, one of my friend who recently participated your training class his name is akhlaq ahmed did you recognize him yeah uh, i'm i'm just asking him how how was, how was the uh, training class and tell me something about our tutor he said he's the, uh, he, he has good knowledge, good communication skills, and, he, and his accent is uh, uh, like Indian or Pakistani, <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that you catch the word fast. Yeah. Sir, I enjoy your class. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you so Thank you so much, Nawaz. Thank you so much. Anyone else? Hello, sir. This is Sahal. I'm here. Yes, yeah, Sahal. Uh, sir, please uh, share me the soft copy of the book, sir, please. We'll share you. Don't worry. We'll share all things once again because okay. today was the first day. So there might be some plus minus, I mean, difference. Okay, yeah. sir. Thank you so much. Use plus is very well. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you, so you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Good Goodbye, guys. Yes, Thank someone. You. Yeah, sir. Love. My name is Fayaz. No, Allah Hafiz. Yes, Fayaz. Yes, sir, I am facing uh, Nebos. Yes. Actually, it is uh, some technical name, I don't know. So, something. Uh, yeah, like again, the PP. What's the meaning of the PP? You are attending the Nebos first time. This is what you are saying? Yeah, yeah. Nibosh. Okay. So, what is the. Uh, okay. So, you mean to ask that some technical terminologies you did not understand? Yes. Okay. So, what are those? Please list me out, then I will explain you. Yeah, it's a PPE. Personal Protective Equipment. Okay. 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 Thank you.
Welcome. Uh, Anyone else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. only last. I'm reading in this uh, IGC one, the exam. I just got a little confused. They are mentioning this 24 hours open and you need yeah. four to five hours to complete, right? Four to five hours, Mr. Omar, four to five uh -huh. hours means you can complete it within four to five hours, but you would be allowed for 24 hours of time. Yani, once I, uh, they will open me the window. When I start, they will count four hours? Yeah, they will be, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. You can download the exam. Okay. Solve it by yourself easily. Take your five hours, six hours, 10 hours. Upload it next day, no worries. But what is the purpose of mentioning four to five hours mean that this exam is solvable within four to five hours time? Mm. But you will have, one. yeah, but you will be granted 24 hours to do that. Okay, IGC2, how many hours? Also same? IGC2 is basically an assignment. You will be ah. given maybe seven to eight days to solve that. Ah, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, fine. Uh, yes, SK Abdul Qadir. Yes, sir. Salam alaikum. Walaikum salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi So, what is the situation uh, in Islam regarding Imran Khan? Is it <laughs> mandatory to discuss over here? The situation is <laughs> yes, very bad. Nah. Yeah, the, thank you so much for asking. Uh, by the way, it's something you have asked. You have touched my heart. Yeah, situation is very bad. But uh, inshallah, we hope for the best. Yeah, so, things will be solved. We are we are fan of Imran Khan. We are from India. Are. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah, Thank most you. of the guys they are. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm See, normally this uh, IGC one and two almost there is one practical session will be there, sir. How we are going through that practical? It's three papers normally. Two papers now. Okay. Now, now two, two papers. papers. Yeah. One would be the paper that you will be getting in your email and you will be solving it by yourself in the email. Mr. Vijay, I will come to you. And uh, the second one, you will be given a pattern of assignment. You will choose that pattern. You will solve your assignment on that pattern. Okay. It so depends now we did upon one, you. Uh, one theory and one practical. Earlier it was two theory and one practical. Yeah. Yeah. But the certification and the qualifications are equal, like similar. They only. are equal, yes, they are equal. They are similar. If since we are doing in an online, there will not be any distance course, nothing will not be coming. It's a demo no. uh, completion. Yeah, Normal the same, access. the same, yes. the same certification you will be getting, okay, with the same intensity, same level, everything would be same. Okay. By the way, new certificate is uh, very nice. Okay, we had long time ago, and it was, uh, it was good. I'll not say not good. <laughs> is that is that any value just like a level something uh, more than the level previous? three? IGC, yeah, IGC, IGC is level three in health and safety, and as compared to your basic qualification, it is like e your intermediate, like ten plus two. It is equal to your intermediate level, and if you get the grad, Ayush, I mean, if you go for level level six. And you get the grad Ayosh means you are getting the you are getting graduated from Ayosh. See what I have uh, just to update you. I have completed NEQ level five in 2018, but uh, okay. during my interviews and all, people are asking what that was. That is the purpose I am doing. Come down to level three, level three now. Okay, okay, fine, fine, <laughs> got that. Okay, <laughs> yes, Mr. Vijay. Uh, sir, uh, this again, uh, I need to add it in the uh, group, WhatsApp, WhatsApp group, so then only I will get uh, these uh, assignments to do the homework uh, for uh, leaving you tomorrow. No, no, no worries, no worries. Uh, you uh, will be added and you yeah. will be communicated back again. Okay. Sir, so this uh, book uh, you forward, uh, the, the, the book regarding you speaking about is the same, the, that is the mail attachment I initially got, right? Mm, yes. Usually, okay. uh, of course, there, there is only one book ah. of IG1 and one book of IG2. So you will be. Yeah, I, I got two attachments. I did not go through it. Uh, but that is the final book that I have to go through. Oh, you yeah. have to go through it. Right? Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks welcome. a lot. Welcome. welcome. Any other participant who wants to add? 
who wants to ask some question? I'm having one more question. Uh, again, it is the exam pattern is only for 100 marks. Na? Same like uh, if it is on also. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. The pass mark, how much is again 40? It is same. 45. Yeah, 45. Same. 45. Everything, okay. everything is same other than 3 to 2. Okay. There were three three exams, now two. And by the way, when we were attempted at that time, you had you had to have uh, two exams in one day, and those are written exam about your memory. And uh, yeah. everything you have to mention, even sometimes they are asking you to sketch something over there on the paper. So you have to mention the sketch. And uh, and you have to submit your assignment on the same day. You have to prepare it over there, physically move in the in the field, identify the hazard, control them. Uh, oh, sorry, you mentioned the uh, existing control, mention the um, uh, control you are going to implement it, perform the risk assessment, khalas, prepare the report, submit on the same day. It was very hard. Now it's, it's yeah, nothing. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah, now it's nothing, by the way. No, okay, I so then, book. Then the one day is the exam, then the, after seven days, I will submit the test in books. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, guys, well. Uh, thank, you. thank you, sir. Good night. And, uh, and when could be our uh, examination, sir, after the class? Exam exam would be on 7th June, I guess. The date is given 7th June. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome, guys. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much, guys, for your time. Goodbye.